Welcome to Hockey Tom. Thank you for being here, both of you. Of course, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having us. Morgan, in your opinion, what does music mean to you, and why did you start picking up the guitar uh, a few years back? Music just, I think it tells a story for, and it can fit a lot of emotions kind of any time of the day, whether you're, you just wake up or, you know, it's late at night getting ready for a game or, or something like that. But yeah, I think for me, I grew up with music. My, my parents and my brothers, we all have had it kind of in our life ingrained in us, you know, since we were super young. So um, it's something super special. And I, you know, I, I picked up guitar. I think my mom put me in lessons when I was like, I don't know, 10 or 11. And um, wow. it's not cool yet to play guitar when you're 10. So oh, I know. Uh, so uh, I kind of threw Everyone that away. Everyone likes to troop you. I know. I didn't last very long. So I, I did like a, I did a year and a half maybe or so and kind of forgot about it. And then um, I think it was my first year pro in Charlotte. So my first year in the minors. Um, I want to say you came and visited us there too. And we're like, this guy, it's it was, it's back to like to being cool again. So we uh, me and Jake both picked it up, bought a, uh, a little um, crappy guitar from I don't know where it was from. But, uh, you know, tried to learn and, and, I mean, here we are. So it's, it's lots of fun. Steve Lorenz was just saying you've come a long, long way. So we'll see. We're, we're, we'll, I have? Let's test it out. Is that what he said that's about what, me? That's what Steve said about you. So um, we'll, see if, we'll yeah. see if that's true. We'll put that to the test. Matt, you and I met at Belmont University years back. And we met in some kind of crazy class. And we started talking about hockey. And I learned that you're a huge Boston Bruins fan, which I thought would make you a great fit for this episode. You're a number one writer. And you've written hits for guys like Morgan Wallen and Kane Brown, Brett Young, Chris Jantz, and the list goes on and on and on. In your opinion, what makes a great country song? Well, I think Morgan kind of touched on it, right? Like telling a story um, and sort of invoking an emotion from whether it's a true story, whether it's a touch fabricated, but trying to uh, catch the listener's ear and trying to catch the listener's uh, experience throughout their own life, really. So this is a special episode. So when I, when I started thinking about what I wanted to do for episode two, uh, I knew that Morgan had some pretty good guitar chops. And obviously, Matt, you're a fantastic writer. And I thought, why don't we here at Soul Train Studios get you two together and write the next country hit? What do you think about that? We're going to try. Yeah, we'll do our best. You know, being a hockey player, you live your life on the road quite a bit. And I think in my case with, with my wife and my daughter and, and my, uh, my dog, we uh, can't seem to find a place to settle down at all. And we haven't really found that yet. So I think for me, it's just be able to, to set some roots somewhere and start growing our family even more. I love it. Sounds like a country song. Yeah. Right? So I think what would be cool, like in, a, in a, a verse, you know, top of the song would just be to translate exactly what you just said, set the scene up. For me, like choruses are just sort of like your kind of like your home base. It's yeah. what you always come back to. It's sort of what your song is all about. Your verses, you have a little bit more room to tell the story. Yeah. Like for me, on a first verse, it would just be telling exactly kind of what you just said, right? It's just like how much you guys are on the road, how much you're going from town to town and living in planes and buses half yeah. the time and hotels. For a chorus, we can sort of paint the scene that you really want, right, is mm -hmm. paint that scene of, of being home and what that all looks like, and, and then we can kind of figure out a second verse as yeah. we go, right? So, you know, when it comes to writing the chorus, coming up with the title of the yeah. song, right, which we're probably going to be saying in the yeah. chorus, I'd hope, right? I think even just like an idea just called Back Home would be great. Yeah. Like, Back Home, there's this, that, and the other thing, as people say, right? Like, yeah. Back Home, I, I got a family, or yeah. Back Home, I have a house, or yeah. Back Home, I have all these things that I, I missed, right? And and we can just sort of turn the phrase, and yeah. which we try to do in country music, right? Yeah. Just turn that phrase around and, you know, I just can't wait to get back home or yeah. I got to get back home or something along those lines, right? Yeah. Should it be sort of like a slower thing or something that moves or... I mean, you're between? the professional here, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Maybe it'd be cool to kind of have it have some, a little yeah. bit of movement, right? A little, yeah. maybe not a ballad. No, probably not. No. <laughs> some jump to it. Start there, maybe. Kind of feels like you're moving in one direction, doesn't it? Yeah. We can kind of maybe back to G. Perfect. Love it. And then we'll, maybe we'll switch and do a D. And C, maybe. That feels pretty good for a verse, right? Yeah, and then back to G. So yeah. like over that verse. Oh. 
something for a melody, right? Something simple. All this running is left me, running on empty, running myself in the ground. See, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we go back to G there? Like G C G. Running running in the ground. See, down, bound. Right back on the one there. I mean, I think we're ready to go. What do you think? Me too. I think we're ready. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All this running has left me Running on empty Running myself in the ground I know what I'm missing Outside these windows It's nothing but never seen towns I ain't getting younger This world ain't standing still I think it's about time I turn these old wheels back home Little ways from the fast interstate Cause there's a girl that waits On the front porch all alone Back home there's a piece Of who I'll always be That's been keeping me from keeping This heart of mine home Get back to being me Get back to loving you Right now the only thing I really want to do is get back home Wish I could wake up tomorrow To a sun in the morning That shines through the second floor shades Walk down the hallway Pour two cups of coffee And watch how that smile hits your face I gotta get back to that place Back home a little ways from the fast interstate Cause there's a girl that waits On the front porch all alone Back home there's a piece Of who I'll always be That's been keeping me from keeping This heart of mine home Get back to being me Get back to loving you Right now the only thing I really want to do is get back home I haven't had a red, been flying these green lights And man, it feels so good to pull back in the drive Back home, a little ways from the fast interstate Cause there's a girl that waits on the front porch all alone Back home, there's a piece of who I'll always be That's been keeping me from keeping this heart of mine home Get back to being me, get back to loving you. Right now, the only thing I really want to do is get back home. Get back home. Dude, good, man. Awesome. Yeah. That was absolutely fabulous. I can't believe you guys just spat that out in like, what, like an hour, like an hour and a half? Crazy. What is more difficult? Scoring your first National Hockey League hat trick against the defending Stanley Cup champions or running with a number one rider like Matt Roy? Um, I was probably more nervous in here today. Uh, I'm a little more comfortable on the ice, but, uh, you know, they're, they're both lots of fun. And, and uh, you know, I can't thank you enough for having me and, and getting to share the, share the stage with this guy. That's all we got here from Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, we'll see you next time on Hockey Talk.